Good morning, my friends, and Happy New Year. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this terrific Monday morning. What a great day it's going to be as we celebrate the goodness of our Savior and the greatness of our God. I hope that you are blessed this, this day. I hope that you have uh, taken some time in the Word already, maybe spent some time in prayer, uh, enjoying what God has for you as we begin this new year. Uh, we're in 2 Timothy chapter 4, and remember when we left off last week, we were talking about how important it is, Paul's telling Timothy, to be ready to preach the word at any time, and it's same for you and me. We have to be ready to proclaim the good news of salvation as well as the, the whole counsel of God's word uh, whenever the time arises, because we never know when God's going to give us that opportunity and the Holy Spirit's going to give us that little nudge telling us that we need to speak into a situation. Now, Truth is, most of us speak into more situations than the Holy Spirit nudges us to, and uh, that's when we get into trouble. But right now, what we want to understand is that Paul's warning Timothy about a time that's coming when uh, men will no longer listen to what he has to say. And I think we're about at that point now in, in our culture, in our world. Listen to what he says in verse 3. He says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But wanting to have their ears tickled, they will accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance to their own desires and will turn away their ears from the truth and will turn aside to myths. Wow, it sounds familiar, doesn't it? As, as a pastor, I see this all the time uh, on social media. I, I'm aware of this constantly with uh, people who have formerly professed themselves as Christians deciding that they no longer want to listen to Christian uh, ministers, pastors. They want to seek out their own teachers who will tell them things that they want to hear. And there are those on the social media platforms that will be glad to be those uh, teachers and preachers, uh, proclaimers of these false gospels. But look at what Paul says. He says, the time will come <clears throat> when they will not endure sound doctrine. Now, what's he talking about? Well, he's talking about the teachings of God's word. He's talking about the teachings of holiness. He's talking about the teachings of godliness. He's talking about the teachings of service and ministry and love and all of those things that, that Paul has taught throughout all of his letters to all of his uh, churches and all of his ministers, the very same things that we see in God's word today, that we have a responsibility to proclaim to the world, and yet they will not endure sound doctrine. They will walk away from it. They will turn their back on it. They will stop their ears uh, up to it because they want, Paul says, to have their ears tickled. Uh, now, what he's talking about is they want to hear what they want to hear. They want you to say what feels good to them, that makes them happy, that meets their desires. And that's the problem that we have. Uh, when we come across a passage of Scripture that conflicts with our beliefs, rather than changing our beliefs, we just change what we listen to. We, we don't want to be challenged to do the right things. We want to be confirmed to continue the way that we, we are living. And that's exactly what Paul is talking about. We've come to that point in our world today. And that's why you see so many of these prosperity gospel preachers have such a great following. That's why the name it, claim it movement has, has garnered so much support in our world. That's why so many people go to uh, churches where the pastors do not preach the word of God. And, and that's the problem that we have. And that's why our world is in the situation that it is, that it's in, because we have allowed this to happen. And, and so many uh, around us are doing exactly that. And we are not preaching the word to them when those opportunities come. We're not reminding them because it is our responsibility to guide them back into the path in which they, they should go. Uh, he says they'll accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance to their own desires. Uh, again, you, you, you find somebody who will say what you want them to say, and that's who you follow. Turn away their ears from the truth and will turn aside to myths. Well, it's all too common in our day today uh, as people have closed up their ears to the truth of God's word. Yes, God is a God of love. Uh, there's no question about that. And God wants everyone to know his love. The truth is his love requires justice. His love requires uh, holiness. His love requires that we follow him in the way that the Bible prescribes for us to follow. And that means that it's going to be uncomfortable at times. That means that we're not always going to be happy. That means we're not going to be wealthy. That means we may hurt and suffer. Uh, but that's exactly what they did to Jesus. It's exactly what they did to Paul and Peter and all of the other apostles. Because of their faithfulness to the Father, they endured great suffering. 
and persecution. And the Bible says we will too. And I think we're coming quickly to that time in our world today. But I want you to think about this today. What has God called you to do? Who has God called you to, to proclaim the good news to? That's what you need to concern yourself with. 